Okay, guys, we're uh, we're here in the garage. Okay, um, today is June seventh. Um, we were actually at a Postdown cruise yesterday with the car. Um, obviously, I have not been able to go over the car because last time, last time we were in the track, we went to Cecil County on May thirty first for uh, rental track rental test and tune. Uh, that was the opportunity for us to actually spray the car. Um, it's been 10 years since we used nitrous on the car after a lot of upgrades that's been made. But in 10 years, in 10 years, I have not sprayed this engine because obviously it's a different car, but it's the same car. It's a different car, it's the same car. Um, we were able to do some test and tuning on motor. The car ran very good, no breakups, no nothing, clean passes. As soon as we put on the nitrous on there, car leaves good leaves hard second gear comes in pretty good uh, but we had a little issue going to second to third gear the car actually starts breaking up so therefore third gear don't come in I have to pedal it a little bit then third gear comes in I get back on the gas and the car finishes the quarter mile but that being said the car actually is not running the numbers it should be running because of that so I'm trying to figure out what's going on that day. We pulled the plugs, checked all the plugs. All the plugs were good. None of them were burnt out. Uh, the colors were perfect. Uh, we weren't running lean or anything like that. The actual breakup kind of felt like a spark plug wire touching arcing somewhere or touching the head or arcing on metal. That was the breakup. That's how it felt. So the day at the track, we couldn't figure it out. But we did like three runs on nitrous and all three runs on nitrous, it kind of broke up the same way. So... We kind of left it alone. It's been a week. Today, like I said, is June 7th. Uh, it's Sunday. I'm finally going to take the time now to go over a few things that kind of came to mind. Um, I got to thank my wife for this because my wife actually is the one that kind of gave me a hint on what to look for. Not that she knows a lot, but she does keep up with everything that's been done to the car. And she remembers that I did do a phasing rotor. And the distributor we did that because we do have a fuel injection system that we're going to want to put on the car later on in the future but i did kind of mention to her that a phasing rotor is going to actually aim the spark to the terminal that way you understand the arc is not far away and it doesn't cause us no problem what i didn't do was spraying the car last week i did not compensate for the retard when you're retarding six degrees and you got that pointer hitting that terminal six degrees is going to pull the pointer away so it would have had to gotten readjusted which i didn't do that's how the day went because of her mentioning something about the ignition on the car made me think and say wait a minute it's got to be that so what we're going to do today is we're going to go inside the distributor we're going to check the timing of the car and we got a cap somewhere around there we're going to drill a hole we're going to actually try to phase this rotor while we're hitting the nitrous button and retarding the the retard once we hit the button for the nitrous the retard should kick in six degrees and then we'll see where the spark is because i'm almost 100 percent sure that that's what's wrong with the car um so that's what we're going to do today it's been a week i haven't had a chance to check it car obviously is running fine because yesterday we went to a car cruise in Pottstown. um we were out there for hours got back home 10 at night car made it there did the cruise and actually came back home without a problem it was running a little hot because we had a 90 degree day yesterday but other than that there is actually no issues with the car um to tell you the truth two days ago me and my son jumped in here and we took it to the highway and we kind of did a pass with it we got on the highway and we kind of like blasted you know first second and third on the wood all the way down and the car didn't never break up so the car is actually just breaking up on nitrous so i am almost 100 percent sure that that's the issue um so we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna take a look at that i'm gonna take the cap off and uh we're gonna try to adjust that all right so let's remove let's start removing the cap so we could get into the uh rotor that way we can see the phasing rotor come in remove a spark plug wire hold down on the cap with the wires together it should all come up together 
Move it to the side. This is another thing I haven't done. I haven't been in here in quite some time. Um, there's really nothing to go in here for. Um, of course, I suspect I'm going to find rust because of all the winters. You understand? You get cold sweat. That's all metal moving parts in there. So I'm sure there's going to be rust somewhat in there. But I mean, the car's running right. Alright, there's our cap. And I mean, all the terminals seem to be arcing right on to the uh, right onto the terminals. So I don't see no side. I don't know if you can see that. All right, we are obviously going to have to get a new cap. This cap's been in there for a long time, um, but I actually don't see no side. No side arcing. Actually, except for that one terminal right here. That one does look like it's not kind of like that straight. Okay. Um, to tell you the truth, I really don't like the way this cap looks. So, we're going to actually get a new cap for this. Alright, well, anyways, let's move on. So this is our fading rotor right here. So this is what we're going to have to compensate and obviously I do see that there's more arcing marks to the left of the rotor than the right. So I am going to assume that that's what's going on here. That's for sure. So we're going to actually put the car on top that center. Uh, I'm going to re put the cap back on there so we can actually see where's our timing at so then from there on we could actually see where would that rotor be going once it retards so um, let, let's let's put the car on top that center and uh, we'll recheck it alright so um, this is kind of dangerous here because it's my GoPro and I definitely do not want to scratch the lens of the GoPro but I'm actually trying to show that we are at top dead center that's our mark number one piston is on top closed valves top dead center correct um, I'm actually gonna turn this off and so I can slide it back out of here this would be top dead center okay so now we move up to the actual phasing rotor so where we are we're at top dead center on the bottom I got this little mark here indicating that that's top that center for us okay so for those of you that you know kind of know about this here um, see if you could follow and understand why I believe that this is the problem I have okay so my phasing rotor it's already adjusted to get this spark into the number one terminal so we're gonna go ahead and grab this cap and we're going to put this cap into its position. That's where it goes. As you can see here, this is terminal number one. Okay? And it's at the mark I got here on the valve cover. So I'm going to lift this cap. And we're going to see that that terminal, that rotor terminal, is looking at spark plug number one. Okay? Dead on. Right here. Dead on. Correct? Okay. So now, what it is is... I'm going to put the old cap, the old rotor on, okay? I have a non-phasing rotor here, all right? I'm going to actually put this rotor on the distributor to get a better reading. Now, I'm presenting it over the bolts, and as you can see, oops, I got it backwards. Okay, that's over the mounting bolts, and as you can see, look how it changes the position from a non-phasing rotor to a phasing rotor so this here would be top dead center at 40 degrees because my timing is set at 40 degrees so with the phasing rotor that's where it's at okay now my issue is that possibly when the nitrous comes in and it retards the distributor it, it retards the timing this terminal is going past the mark and it's going back away from the terminal 
So that's what's got to be happening here, which I'm going to have to uh, drill the hole on our cap and do it while the car is running so we could get an accurate, uh, a accurate view on what's going on with the spark. That way we can adjust this phasing rotor correctly. But right now, there's a mounting screw opposite to that. It's almost 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So we're going to put this rotor that's not a phasing rotor, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And as you can see, look at, look at the difference where the rotors are. This is the non-phasing rotor, non-phasing rotor, phasing rotor. So now I'm going to assume that the best place for this is going to be halfway. We're going to have to do this halfway. So from here to there, we're going to have to find this. We're going to have to find the middle, which I may have to move that phasing rotor a little bit towards in between those two markings. Um, I surely hope that this is the problem, which, hey, I'll be honest, man. I'm almost 100% sure that this is what it is. So for those of you that may understand what's going on here and knows about phasing rotor, uh, let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you agree. Timing, it's at 40 degrees. Phasing rotor, it's shifted over to meet the spark of number one terminal. Non-phasing rotor will put the terminal there at 40 degrees. That's pretty far. At 40 degrees, that's pretty far. That's closer. But when it retards, what's happening is when the nitrous comes in and it retards, it's getting actually even further back. So when you hit the button, when you hit the micro switch, and it retards six degrees, it's going back, away from it. It's going away from it. And this distributor rotates counterclockwise. So when it goes back, now it's causing a problem into meeting the arc. If you understand what I mean. I know it's a little confusing, but I'm telling you, for those who really know about this, are going to understand me 100%. Okay, the next thing we have is we remove the phasing rotor from there now. Now... I haven't looked inside the distributor in many, many, many years, and I don't know if you can see real good. I'm trying to get the light. Look how rusty. Look how rusty the reluctant wheel is in there. Is that normal? I mean, you know, that's a lot of rust. That's a lot of rust inside there. That's bananas. I mean, the car still runs it doesn't run with a misfire but I mean all that contributing to the arcing problem where the car is missing yeah, I'm gonna try to clean it the best I can but all the reluctant wheels have rust on them so I'm sure that causes a problem for this to give a clean signal wow man weren't we not ready so we're gonna correct all that now we're gonna try the best that we can I mean worst case scenario we'll have to get a new reluctant wheel reluctor wheel reluct reluctor wheel right that's what it's called Whew. all right so I'm gonna try to sand all the tips of that and try to get some of that rust out of there okay um we actually got the reluctor wheel cleaned up Kind of give it a little sandpaper, a little emery cloth, and we kind of clean the surface. I don't know if you can see too good. But we actually kind of see if I can get a better view here. We kind of clean all the faces of the reluctor wheel there. Okay. What we did also was we took the cap and we kind of cleaned it up. We cleaned all the terminals in there. We got all that crud out of there. All right, these are copper tips, so I'm gonna give it a chance and see how it works. Um, we cleaned that. We also cleaned the tip of the phasing rotor, which we're gonna assemble all back together, and uh, we'll we'll try it out. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to try it with the nitrous right now. Um, we gotta get fuel. We gotta get some good fuel. 
and we actually gonna need a spot to go try the car but at least at least I got this out of my head where um, I kind of believe this was the problem and from there on we'll see so let's just put all this back together and I gotta actually change the plugs I'm gonna put a new set of plugs on there and fire it up and see what it sounds like